Well, first on the rundown at 530, some new numbers tonight that show more than 260 Thruway Authority workers earned more than six figures last year. Now, these included several right here in the Buffalo area, including, believe it or not, one toll collector. Channel 2's Dave McKinley looked into it in tonight's You Paid For It report. In 2017, Lawrence Stokely worked primarily at the Exit 49 Plaza in Depew here, earning nearly $102,000 collecting tolls. He was one of only two toll collectors among the 1,600 employed by the Thruway Authority to earn six figures that year by nearly doubling his salary through overtime. About 86% of those who hand you your tickets and take your money are part-time. Through their union contract, they can make more than their base hourly rate by working evening or night shifts or holidays. But Stokely was one of the Thruway's 227 full-time toll collectors, and after 43 years on the job, his overtime rate was 39 bucks an hour, and he put in an average of 23 hours of it per week in order to earn nearly $48,000 in OT. Stokely who made even more in prior years, certainly wasn't alone in racking up overtime. The Thruway paid out $11 million worth in 2017 to roughly 3,000 of its employees. But there could be savings there in the future through cashless tolls. For instance, those installed on Grand Island this year presumably would eliminate the more than quarter million dollars in salary and overtime paid in 2017 to just three now no longer needed toll plaza managers, as well as the nearly half million more paid to toll collectors, including one who racked up an astounding $39,000 in overtime in 2017 and whose services here are also no longer required. But we might not realize those savings right away as the cost of installing such systems across the entire thruway are estimated at between $500 and $600 million. We also might expect the Thruway Authority to save another $400,000 this year. That was the salary of its highest paid employee who supervised construction of the new Tappan Zee Bridge, which is now finished, so presumably that means we don't need this guy anymore, Mary Alice. And Dave, I understand you actually spoke with Mr. Stokely today. <laughs> you know, I did. And Mr. Stokely, who put in 43 years at the Thruway, told me that he retired at the end of last year. But at age 66, He's come back as a part-time toll collector. He declined an on-camera interview as perhaps not surprisingly, Mary Ellis, he was working. Wow, he's got quite a work ethic. I don't think anyone can argue that. Right. Interesting. <laughs> and, and, and one guy across mm -hmm. the state, another toll collector, mm -hmm. made 125 grand last year. Interesting. Yeah, so he Alrighty. came out number two. Thank you, Dave. All right.